Well, everybody, it's Batman from The Holler. If you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. Ring that bell for upcoming content and future notifications. Since I've been getting a little bit more into music making and this and that, I figured I'd buy a fairly cheap interface and it's professional condenser microphone with patent audio reference companion for crystal clear sound i have a usb microphone it works pretty well with the laptop except for i need tools to actually increase the, the audio sound because it's very low but we're going to open this up we're going to see what we got here it came in this kit which i think it I always try to buy fairly decent equipment because I want to make a video and put it on YouTube. I want to show people that some, what the stuff is and what's going on. And then right here, it, it's like you got your ba you got your treble, your bass, your company, your record, your monitor, your mic, which that's going to be a key ingredient. And then for me to actually use the USB microphone I have. On the condenser mic, etc., and headset, monitor. It's going to take me probably an adapter of sorts. And this kit, that's going to be the main part of the kit. And then there's going to be a lot of other key components to this kit, which this is for the microphone. And then here's the microphone itself, which isn't bad. And there's the microphones you can see. And then it comes with a filter that actually got loose in the shipping, but that's okay. And sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to slip that on there. But that's once I get it on there, it'll be all good. It just has to reform to being on the microphone. Well, that you have to be very delicately when you're sliding that on so you do not tear it. Because that material can tear very easily. So, getting a little bit closer. There's the more more wiring that goes along with this for hooking everything up here is the heart shaped pickup sound clear sound quality and there's that and then simple as this is this is a table mount clamp so you can mount the microphone as you can see that's the clamp and then this next piece right here this actually mounts as well as you can see the mount this is your filter for your mic and then here's more this is a cheap set of headset which is not bad at least they offer something for the money so that's a good thing so let me clean some of this stuff up the next step of this is this right here Here's another component for mounting it to a countertop, which is good. And I believe that's everything in the kit that I've actually got everything pulled out now. So we can start to separate things into categories, which will make everything a little bit more, a little bit more easy to analyze what's going on here. And it just takes a little bit of time to usually unwrap all this stuff. I'm not the greatest at doing it. I'm just doing this for other people who may be interested in music or pod podcast type stuff or whatever category that you enjoy personally or whatever you like to do in your free time. I know everybody has their own thing. Some of us is gaming and sometimes you see me gaming online. So that's all that. And I was gonna, it's going to take me a little while to unwrap all this stuff because it's always got water ties on it and all that good stuff but that's nice where you don't have a big wad of crazy going on so as you can see this wire right here is just kind of like usb to a typical c adapter usually cell phones and then right here it's probably going to be for i'm assuming a microphone and then here's here's one wire for jacks and here's another one with your jacks it actually plugs right into the back as you can see it plugs it'll plug in and then this will plug into your item so you can get that out of the way 
and I've looked at different adapters for this kit. They sell quite a bit of different adapters. So you can do microphones and different stuff, get some feed on a guitar, do some adjusting on that. And then this wire, this right here actually plugs into the microphone and you just push that in and that locks in so your microphone's hooked up. And then once you stretch the cable out, here's the cable that goes to it right here. You stretch that on out and then you spin this around you have to be careful when you're doing all this stuff that you don't damage nothing. And then let's see here. Do, 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 do. This would probably be microphone one. So that's microphone one that's hooked up to the interface. So we're getting there slowly. You got to do Bear with me because I'm a hillbilly and I ain't a real sophisticated guy. Some of this stuff's all new to me. But it's a little bit of a learning curve. Just like everything else. But when you learn... It all typically comes about at a certain point. So I'm sitting here trying to figure this guy out. And I guess this slides in there just like so. I might have put that in there. Yeah, I put it in there the correct way, I believe. And then let's see here. A little bit more. Assembling all this is always the crazy part of it but i actually enjoy it because if you're gonna do things you're gonna have to be prepared to do a little bit of stuff sometimes you may be outside of your agenda what you're doing or maybe it might be something you don't want to do but some a lot of this stuff you have to fluctuate with if you're gonna use it and it's time consuming to get good at doing it i've been doing all this stuff independently with nobody teaching me how to do any of it which is kind of crazy in its own self and a lot of people i know told me that i'll never be able to get nowhere doing this so i just do what i do and let them say what they say and it works to that category so i'm not the best at doing these informative videos on products etc but i know how to assemble things so it just takes a little bit of time to get all your stuff manageable and set up. A lot of people have more experience in operating equipment and setting equipment up than me. And they use cameras and multi-cameras to get multi-angles. And they just don't hear somebody talking and just see what you're seeing right now. But it definitely takes a little while. The counter I'm using, I don't think it's going to work very well. I'm going to have to make my own tripod as usual. Because I, I'm using the kitchen counter on a bar. And it's got the outer lip. And I mean, I guess I could always take a knife and possibly cut it or something. Or I could actually get it to fit. But I might be able to get it to fit. It's not over yet. I'll show you what I got going on right here. It's not over yet. I might be able to get it to mount without actually having to modify the countertop for it to fit. Because, I mean, most people have a flatter area to work them with. So, that that makes it a little easier on that end. So, I just keep on working with it and see what I can get done. And hopefully, it will be tight enough where it will not move. Because it needs to be stationary. That's the whole environment for having this. Or actually wanting to utilize it. And it's not really wanting to work. I, it's kind of to be expected. Because this lip right here, it won't stabilize. To see, the lip won't stabilize on this countertop. Because this countertop's got a lip to it. So I just have to make something else if I want to be able to use this. For mounting it, it's not going to be easy as I thought. As you can see, this countertop has got this lip right here. I'm going to have to cut that down for it to actually slide in. Because this right here has to slide in what it does when it slides onto the countertop. A lot of people don't see, or a lot of people really don't experience this when they're setting something up. This has to set pretty flush where this can lock down on it. And then when that locks down, it holds it in place. So the grand tree of this can actually be expanded like this to where your position that you want to use it in 
Well, it's just a lot of modification to everything I do. Because when you don't have a lot of money or a lot of knowledge in a certain field, it definitely has a learning curve. And sometimes that learning curve, it can really petrify somebody and very easily push somebody away from even wanting to do it. And I just took that apart to see what's going on here. I'm going to stick that back in. That you gotta be careful you don't cross thread this stuff because a lot of it's in plastic. So that's in its own. But all you gotta do is just kind of spin that on there for your mic. And it fits properly as it should. I know it's probably a little boring setting this up, but I'll do a part two of actually using this with the MDI keyboard or playing around or something. So you're not consi consistently just wasting your time and being bored. I'll put the link that I bought this from, which is like 59 bucks. Really not bad for somebody beginning. For young kids singing or making their podcast or live streaming or gaming or YouTubing or whatever format they are particularly wanting to use it for. So that's that. And it's also nice because it has a side lock where you can actually move it to where you want. And then you tighten it down for, for making it work. Your microphone is where you want it to be once you stretch the Grand Tree arm out for usage. And then the next part, well, I guess I'll dig right into doing the headphones because the headphones has, I mean, it's always good that you can hear yourself so you know what kind of stuff you got going on. There's quite a bit of little stuff going on right here. And then, just like I showed a moment ago, this is the headphones that come with it. Not the most expensive headphones, but I believe you could almost use like a cheaper pair of like PlayStation 4 headphones or similar to this with a similar co coaxial actually plugs in. So the headset goes right here. So that plugs in to that. And then if you want to attach the headset to like your shirt or something, you got it comes with the clip right here. Which is good, but I'm gonna keep the little bag. I'm just gonna put everything in, back together in the bag for temporary storage. And these are extra ends for right here. If these ends want to be swapped out, etc. And there's extra pieces there, which is kind of a good thing. It's not a bad kit. I think it can be. I can utilize it pretty easily, except for something that. I, well. I'm, I guess we're getting to the point of move the laptop back over and move the microphone. And we'll just plug this in real quick and see what's happening because it's like the anticipation of things. Sometimes when I watch videos, it really displaces me of not wanting me to continually watch the video. If I'm not seeing any kind of quality or anything going in a productive way, I usually like to see the product coming together so i'm trying to unbox this and successfully hook this up even though i said i was a hillbilly and don't know what i'm doing that is a fact so you can obviously sell that but i just plugged the interface into my laptop and i'm sitting here at my counter so i'm kind of having to maneuver everything about but all you do is you plug it into your usb and then your type c plug on the back it plugs into the 5 volt 1a pc live so maybe we'll get some good content going now that actually have a little bit more equipment because i thought the usb microphone was going to be efficient but the output and volume of such as that wasn't the greatest category and then the live car live sound card user manual so this is an instruction manual of how to actually use it. And I'm sorry the video is so long and I don't know exactly what I'm doing. But I do have experience in making music and playing guitars, electric guitars, drums, and that kind of thing. So here we are with the instruction manual. And then it, it shows how to Bluetooth it and everything, as you can see right there. Bluetooth connection, interfaces, and it tells what all that stuff is, which most of it, if you have any kind of like experience or even moderate experience in using electronics just as i said you can look at the back and it's all named to what it is and then here is 
the heart shape pickup clear quality sound and then that's the microphone you can also buy different grades of microphones and i know a lot of people will buy some interface like this for this 59 dollars then you can always buy you a higher grade microphone the manual is a little beat up coming in but it shows how all this works so it's not bad and the thing is it gets rough when you're doing music is sometimes like this is just like a student laptop and it's not really a laptop it's just a basically a toy of a laptop but it has enough gigabytes enough quad intel that i can actually use it but some of this stuff you only have two plugs so if i wanted to use in the other video i showed if i wanted to use the usb i have a pigtail that goes in one that comes out two it's cheap on amazon you can buy two of them for like 14 to 20 bucks so the technical thing gets a little bit it gets a little bit kind of crazy if you don't have experience in it so then for me i study and the reason i make these videos that are going to be the best semi-informative they're not going to be quite like these big youtubers that have studios and cameraman and multiple cameras and spend hours of editing i usually do this stuff on the whelm it's more of a freestyle video and it's informative to the best of my ability so i like to show different categories of different things from music to the dy stuff and music but i like to switch it up where it's all not about one thing because the technology actually comes into it but if you have your laptop and everything set like this it's pretty nice because you can adjust your environment and then if i can once i get the microphone stand properly set up i'll have i can be able to have the microphone i can swivel to the direction i want so when i'm doing a video i can i can out i can outsource to have the laptop at the side out of the way the interface out of the way so i can properly do good videos for everybody so nobody has to see stuff that's completely crazy but i'll have to do some modification work to set that up but anyway this is the end of the video and i'll put a link on there if you want to try this out this would be great for people that have children don't want to spend a lot of money getting started or people like me just trying to do something because they're passionate and they enjoy what they're doing but anyway everybody have a great weekend hope i didn't bore you if you watched this far thank you hope because that's just the way it is sometimes i i'm not the best at making a video but i show you the best of what i know and best of what is provided in front of me to create the video that is all